Some of the people people. who show up, who support these fascist rallies, who are members of this cult. Here's a group of people. uh, One of the individuals says they met their wife at a rally, and they're all wearing these Donald Trump shirts, and it's just completely, completely strange. Here, play this clip. First three in line here in Pennsylvania. We got here 24 hours ago. This is my 56th Trump rally. 56. Senator, everybody, we're here to support the greatest president. Let's go. You know what? You know, you know why you're so great? You brought us together. We met at Trump rally for Steve and I, and now we're going to get married. And then right before the rally as well, you have another uh, few individuals who are being interviewed and they talk about how Jesus is going to overturn the 2020 election for them. And then it's hard to even just watch the clip, please. And God will show the truth. The truth was Trump won 2020 election. So I have in my back too. Yeah. Truth, so, so. Truth won. And Trump won. Amen. Yes, that's that's what we are here. We are our Lord for Right Side Broadcasting Network, and we also want to do the same thing for our president, who never conceded. In the power of the Holy Spirit, we ask of this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Isn't God wonderful? Everything that He's doing. Okay, and then before the rally, Doug Mastriano, the candidate for governor, spoke, and as he was speaking and saying that the biggest issue facing the people of the Commonwealth is his pronouns, uh, his wife spots a rainbow, and then they say, oh, this must be a sign from the heavens about pronouns, and look at the rainbow. Play this clip. And uh, they're taking on the man by suing the administration. They, they tell me that their kids are being told, don't tell your parents we're playing pronoun games at school. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Rainbow. 